welcome back to my channel. Today I have this look for you guys and it's a coral themed makeup tutorial that was actually inspired by Ko Jun Hee's makeup. She has a really cute sort of innocent looking face with a white complexion and she usually does this trademark coral kind of themed makeup. So I thought this look would be very suitable and appropriate for this upcoming spring season and I thought that you guys would enjoy it because it's a little bit more on the natural side compared to some of the makeup that I have recently done. So without further ado, let's begin with the tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and just brace yourselves for my bare face. <laughs> Starting with a clean, fresh face, we're going to start with moisturizer and I'm going to be applying some of this Belief Moisturizing Balm, which is part of my daily skincare routine and I love it so much. It's really deeply hydrating and lasts for a long time. It's a light gel cream consistency and it's really gentle as well and it's not too expensive either. For foundation, I'm using the Sung 37 Sun Away Cooling Sun CC, which I really like. It's funny because I didn't like this product at first, but I've grown to love it so much. It's a product that gives you gorgeous celebrity-like skin and a dewy, glowy finish and high sunscreen coverage. Now because I have a slightly oily T-zone, I'm going to set the area with a little bit of this Laclis Rice Setting Powder. Laclis is probably one of my favorite mineral makeup brands. Not only is the packaging gorgeous, but the products are really good too. Now Kojuni has thick, soft, straight brows that don't have too much of a defined edge. So using some eyebrow cake or powder would be the best way to achieve that look. And I'm using this Face Shop Eyebrow Kit, which is pretty good. She also usually has those tinted brown brows, so we're going to tint the brows as well using some brow gel. This is my favorite eyebrow gel by Heavy Rotation. This would look so much better if my hair was brown, but it still works. I can't wait till I can dye my hair again. Of course, we cannot forget to start with primer, and you guys all know why we use primer, right? It makes your eyeshadows stay longer and be as pigmented as possible without creasing. Then for shadows to create that coral undertone, take a orangey coral color and this is an Inglot eyeshadow that I've had for a while and just basically apply it to the upper eyelid area and blend it out using a blending brush. Take it up as high as you can on your eyes and this will act as a nice cool contrast to the warm brown. So now for the inner corners, take a shimmery champagne color and I feel like I always say that in my tutorial and then basically apply it to the inner corners and blend it in halfway. And whilst you're at it, apply some to your brow bone for highlight. Make sure everything is nicely blended and there's no harsh edges. Time for the brown smoky part. So taking a warm brown that has a bit of a shimmer and I deliberately chose to use a sponge applicator because it makes it more precise and also the eyeshadow goes on more pigmented as well. So as you can see, I'm applying it close to the lash line and not allowing it to go over the coral part and also bringing it underneath halfway. Just make sure that you don't go over the coral so the coral part is still peeping through a little bit and there's a little bit of a gradient going on. As I said, don't take the brown up too high because Kojuni's style of makeup is basically using brown eyeshadow to create a gradient up from the eyeliner instead of a very obvious sort of eyeshadow look. And here I'm just going back in with a little bit of the coral on my finger. Okay, time to curl the lashes. So curl, 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 curl away. Best way to curl is start close to the lashes and pump it downwards a couple times to create a really natural C curl. Shiseido's lash curler for me is the best and I've been using it for years. So just a few final touches, make sure that you've got symmetry on both sides and that you've brought the eyeshadow lower as well to create bigger, smokier looking eyes. Blend it in but don't overblend either. We don't want the eyeshadows to look muddy but just nicely soft and gradiented. Now for eyeliner, we want to go for something soft and natural looking, so opt for a pencil. And this waterproof gel liner is really, really budge proof and waterproof, so I highly recommend it. Basically, fill in your upper waterline and fill in between your lashes to make it look nice and full. And then create a little bit of an eyeline that wings out at the end, just very slightly, and blend it in as well and use a brown gel liner to then go over the visible liner on top. This will create the most natural look and also create a bit of a gradation. You can achieve a really soft and natural smoky look by filling in the bottom waterline with a brown liner and then smoking it out softly with a brush. 
So just do the same thing to the other eye and make it look as symmetrical as possible. And finally, we're going to finish off the eyeshadows using a bronzy shimmery color and just blending it on top of the top and the bottom. If you want to keep it as low key as possible, you can skip this step because it will add a bit of a glamour factor. Now we've finished our eyeshadows, just going to clean up the area using a little bit of that foundation from before. Just focusing around the under eye area. And now it is time to show you guys my favorite mascara at the moment. This is called the Etune Zigzag Mascara. Isn't it so weird looking? <laughs> well, apart from how it looks, if you turn this knob on, it starts to zigzag across so that you don't have to do it manually yourself. It really wraps around the entire lash and lifts it up. It's also got those natural fibers as well, which build up the length and it's waterproof and it holds my curl and lengthens and volumizes and it's just perfect. Seriously, I really love this mascara. It's probably my new holy grail apart from how weird the bottle looks, but we can deal with that. Look at my lashes, guys. No need for false lashes with this baby. Now it is time for the Kojuni inspired coral lips and the main tip that I have for long lasting tinted lips is just to layer on the tints and you can go with different kind of brands and colors as well to create a depth of color. I'm basically layering on my favorite Vov Rouge Fit tint in this number two. It's a cool coral color. And of course, we're going to do the gradient muted lips, Kojuni style. And I'm using my favorite NARS She Glow Foundation, which is, I think, the best for concealing the lips. Something about the thin moisturizing formula really makes it smooth and doesn't settle into the lips and make it look chapped, no matter how much you layer it on. So here I've laid it on about three times. And then I'm going to go back in with the tint and doing this in a repeated manner will give you the most dynamic looking muted lips. And top it all off with a little bit of clear lip gloss to create 3D looking voluptuous lips. You guys all know I'm obsessed with gradient lips. And now my new current obsession is gradient coral lips. It just looks so fresh and pretty. So I have been wearing this a lot on the everyday, even though I don't really feature in my tutorials that much. So I was actually going to skip the blush step because it really looks like she doesn't wear much on the face at all. But for the sake of congruency and also just to satisfy the viewers, you guys, <laughs> I thought I'd apply a little bit of blush. And this is one of my fave blushes, Kevin Laquan's Dolene, which is an apricot color. So here is the completed makeup, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful. If you enjoyed this time with me today, just give this video a thumbs up so I know and I know that you appreciate my efforts in making it for you guys. And if you have any other requests for other makeup tutorials, feel free to leave it down in the comments below so I know. That's pretty much it for today. So I hope you guys have a really good day wearing this makeup out. <laughs> Take care, guys. Kamito bayo.